Good day. Today is known as Trinity Sunday, when we celebrate the truth of a triune God, God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit, the three in one. One of the truths of the Christian faith that led to many debates and disagreements with which remain, but it remains one fact, that we serve a God three in one. Let's pray together as we use the words of Psalm 8. O Lord, O Lord, how majestic is your name in all the earth? You have set your glory above the heavens. From the lips of the children and infants you have ordained praise because of your enemies to silence the foe and the avenger. When I consider your heavens, the work of your fingers, the moon and the stars, which you have set in place, what is man that you are mindful of him? The son of man that you care for him? You made him a little lower than the heavenly beings and crowned him with glory and honor. You made him ruler over the works of your hands. You put everything under his feet, all flocks and herds, and the beasts of the field, the birds of the air, and the fish of the sea, all that swim the paths of the seas. O Lord, our Lord, how majestic is your name in all the earth. Father God, we cannot help but stand in wonder when we acknowledge your creation. And when we think of you, the Almighty Creator, the Heavenly Father, who is not just Father to your people, who created everything, but you are also our Saviour, Jesus Christ who came to walk on this earth and to die the death for our sins. And then, when he went back to heaven, you blessed us with another side of you as our God, the Holy Spirit, to be with us, to guide us and to lead us, to prompt us every day of our lives. How blessed we are. We praise and we glorify you who you are the triune God. Guide and lead us in what we do today. And bless everyone, Lord, as we open ourselves to hear this message from you. In Jesus' name, Amen. Our New Testament reading is from Matthew 28. And we read only five verses from verse 16 to verse 20. Then the eleven disciples went to Galilee, to the mountain where Jesus had told them to go. When they saw him, they worshipped him, but some doubted. Then Jesus came to them and said, All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Therefore go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, and teaching them to obey everything I have commanded you. And surely I am with you always, to the very end of the age. We read up to here and we praise God for the word that is before us. Our theme today, I think is, as I said, confusing but also definitely something we can unpack as we sit here together today. The theme is, the new thing is the old thing and it's everything. The new thing is the old thing and is everything. What does that really mean and what is it saying to us on Trinity Sunday? When we look at the lectionary readings of this week, it brought to us again the events of creation, which happened long before any 
one of us could be part of it. And although creation is at times a controversial topic, leading to some arguments and differences of opinion and different timeline understandings, the fact remains that God Almighty is definitely the creator of heaven and earth and everything in and on it, visible and invisible. And God said it was good. Every time we get to the end of a day in the creation timeline, God said it was good. We, as humans, come into the timeline or story on the sixth day of creation, when God created humans in his own image and with his own likeness. In this alone is another few controversial topics and arguments, but the fact remain, in the way we were created, we represent God. And God was pleased with his creation and gave it of his time, gave it of his attention and definitely gave it his care. This was the reality from the start. God the Father and Creator was with them, with us from the beginning. Not only does scripture tell us that we were created in the image of God, but we see from Psalm 8 that we were just little less than the angels in heaven. Listen to it again. From verse 3, when I consider your heavens, the work of your fingers, the moon and the stars which you have set in place, what is man that you are mindful of him, the son of man that you care for him? You made him a little lower than the heavenly beings and crowned him with glory and honor. Is, that not, is this not amazing? And mind-boggling, actually, he who created us really care about us. Care about us to such an extent that we were blessed by the gift of the Holy Spirit, which we celebrated last week, and with whom we have the joy to journey every day of our lives. The Holy Spirit who is always with us to guide, lead and protect us. A blessing but evidence of the God who promised to be with us, who is really with us. He is still Emmanuel, God with us. The presence of God might have been an old thing, which started with creation, but which remained with his people through all generations in the Old Testament, and became the new thing in the birth of Christ in the New Testament, bringing the presence of God in human form as a new thing to the presence of God's people, with an earthly ministry of 30 plus years, we spend the life of a human here on earth. Although the presence of God was and is a new thing at that time, it was needed. And his ministry came visibly to an end with the crucifixion and the ascension of Jesus. But it was still not the end. He had to walk this earth to die the death we were supposed to die for our sins. A blessing in the presence of God for his people. The promise of God remain, which we see in Deuteronomy 31 verse 6. Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid or terrified because of them, for the Lord your God goes with you. He will never leave you nor forsake you. To us this promise might be another old thing, but we have it repeated in different scripture and at different times, as we also see here in our New Testament reading for today. In verse 20, and teach them to obey everything I have commanded you. And surely 
I am with you always to the very end of the age. Is this not the kind of promises we need from God? And this is everything. That He is always with us. The presence of God, which started at the beginning of creation, was not just a promise, but it remained the reality of every generation, and it remains the reality of every day of our lives. This remains everything. This makes life meaningful, bearable and worth it, because He is everything. With Him we are nothing. He remains our triune God, God the Father, God the Son and God the Holy Spirit. Amen. Father God, Thank you that we, on this Trinity Sunday, can again be made aware of how present you are. Present as our Father in Heaven, the Creator of Heaven and Earth. Present as our Saviour, Jesus Christ, who paid the price. And present as the gift of the Holy Spirit, who is with us, in us, surround us, to guide, lead, bless and protect us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.